Good morning traders and welcome to today's live trading. Today is the 17th of November, uh, it's actually a Friday and as usual we are on the FTSE 100. Um, so apologies for not doing this yesterday, I just haven't had time. Uh, basically we are looking to be moving house in sort of the next four to six weeks, fingers crossed. Um, and that means getting rid of the current place that we are renting. So uh, viewings are going to commence on this place soon and everything, so everything's going to be up in the air. If these videos become less frequent over that time, I do apologise. It's just I'm not getting the time. You know, everything needs to be packed up and moved across. Um, so it's going to be a bit hectic. So I do apologise over the sort of the next four to six weeks if the um, the uploads aren't that consistent. But I'll do my best. So looking at this market today, then um, you may have noticed already that these pivot lines are quite squeezed up today. Uh, it wasn't the biggest range on the FTSE yesterday and so that has an effect on the next trading day with the pivots. So you can see there's, I think there's generally about 10 to 15 points between each line. Uh, so not huge room between each pivot but that's not terrible. Um, we can work with that. So I've marked in the three main bands that I'm looking at today. We've got this large one up here. Uh, it's got the R1, R2. Yesterday's high and yesterday's open within it, uh, this is what I'm talking about, this, this band is only 15 points uh, big and it's got all all those points within it. Uh, a little bit further down we've got this intraday level, um, you can see if we look here yesterday, this level performed really well yesterday, uh, various tests of this level and it bounced, it never actually got any lower. Uh, and then if we do get down below the, here today we've got another 4 hour uh, band in here with today's S2 in it and the S3 a little bit below that. So those are the three main bands I'm looking at. As far as potential trades go immediately, um, I wouldn't have mind taking a long from here, but to do so would mean just taking a signal like this, which on the face of it looks like a good buy signal, but when you've had so much chop like this, it really is better to wait and wait for price to make a decision because you could just get chopped out of this so easily. I mean if we look across here uh, there's a buy signal there, there's uh, a buy signal there, a buy signal there, you know there's plenty of, there's plenty of signals in there if you wanted to get long um, but when you see in price action like this literally just move consistently sideways what you're better off looking for is like a move up if you wanted to go long and then for it to come back retest and then you can get long again like that because otherwise price could continue doing this for hours and then eventually just fall uh, you know it's it's not really concrete an, a concrete indication that price is going to go higher um, I would be surprised within the next couple of minutes the market's due to open this doesn't come up to this orange line um, but we'll see so other than that, um, there are no really, there aren't any other trades that are like immediately on my radar. Um, I'd be happy to see, you know, if price can get up to here or down to the next band or move either side of this band and then gives a signal. So I'll be waiting for that to happen and I'll update you when it does. Okay, so I'm going to enter into a sell position just below this sell candle here. So the low is 73.74.1. So I want to be in at 7370 exactly uh, I'll submit that it's going to need to come up and let me in because I've dawdled uh, just check that's right uh, the low is 73.74.1 so yeah I want to be in at 73 um, if it's going to pop up and just let me in then that's going to be brilliant I'll show you the order so there's the ticket you can see 73.73 73, uh, and it's sell but it's running away from me at the moment. It needs to literally just pop up to let me in. Uh, hopefully it does that. You can see the price that we will get triggered at, I believe is the little purple one there. So 70, it's at 72.5. So it just needs to pop up a little bit. No, it's the lower one actually. Um, uh, it's messing around now. I'll leave this ticket open so you can see if the order does get triggered. Um, and then if it does, I'll, I'll bring the live ticket across. But 
basically, we're looking literally just for a move down to this band. Um, I really hope this lets us in. So we'll keep watching. Uh, but yeah, literally all we're looking for is a move down to this band. Uh, so we've got an S73. We'll, yeah, it'll be about an eight point trade. Um, there's been a nice move down here with some decent momentum. We've moved up, test this ATMA here. Um, and you can see we're below the ATMAs on both the hourly and the four hourly. So it's, it's a decent trade set up uh, I just need to get triggered so we'll keep watching and hopefully that happens and like I said I'll leave the tick so you can see them he says uh, and we'll see how this one gets on okay so we're just getting down into this band now um, so I'm just going to close the trade here. A nice little sound effect on the broker platform there. Um, so yeah, that's actually not, I'm really quite annoyed to be honest, um, that I missed the entry when I should have got in. That's quite bad trading really. I'm a, it just goes to show that, you know, you still make mistakes, even if you do this most days, which, you know, I do do it most days. Um, you still make mistakes, but distracted with something on another screen and, um, you know, miss the entry there. Thankfully, it popped back up and let me get in. If it had come down to this band and then come up, I wouldn't have been interested. It had been trade over, but it didn't quite get there. Came back up, retested the ATMA and literally just, just let me into that trade um, for the eight point move down there. So... The setup was really good, like I say. Um, we've had this this move up this morning, uh, tagged that close like I thought we were going to, move below, and it was like I was saying, I wanted to see price move out of this chop before giving us any signals. It moved out above the high of this chop. No long signals came. The preference was obviously to the downside because we're below the ATMA on the hourly chart, and we're below it on the four hourly chart. Obviously the momentum on this chart is obviously down as we've been coming, flying down over the last few days. Um, and then when price broke down here, I forget rid of the ruler, broke down here, and then you see it revisits and gives us that, that entry signal there. Uh, those lines aren't obviously very good for showing you what I mean. But you can see that price broke down. We got the uh, retest of the band. Uh, that's really the confluence is there as well into the lows of this chop, which is really good to see. Uh, nice reaction away from that, and then you should be straight in. You know, that's that's the bit that's annoyed me. Um, but obviously, it flew straight down pre-test, and then gave us the uh, the hit the profit target just there. So it was a good trade, a good setup, but just poorly executed uh, on my on my half really. So uh, yeah, bit disappointing, but. I hope you enjoyed the video. We got the profit in the end. Um, nice quick one today, so 20 past nine and we're all done for the day. I've actually got to pop out uh, a little bit later on, so that works out really well. Um, so like I say, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you managed to take something away from these videos. If you've got any suggestions on um, if you, you know changing the format, if you think this would be more interesting or you take more from it, um, if I did it a different way, let me know in the comments. If there's anything you want to see on the channel, also let me know in the comments below. Uh, and if you haven't, uh, subscribed yet please consider doing so I try to upload as often as I can like I said that might be a little bit slow over the next four to six weeks just with while we move house and everything um, but then I'll be back to normal but thank you very much and uh, I'll see you next week